So this segment, we're going to show you how to nest and do edge-to-edge -edge designs. On our quilt right now, we've got a couple passes of the edge-to-edge -edge design. So we're going to continue with the two that we have here to show you how we did these. I've selected my design in Cubot and we're at start, so we're going to tell it to go. Both of these designs were done at 100% in scale. That's using the two-point um, scaling type. So we're going to select two-point scaling and push the go button. We're going to ignore the question of place on upper right and place on lower left just by pushing the go button. Once it says keep proportion, or we'll say yes by pushing go, it's going to scale the design automatically to 100% in scale because we didn't move cube out when we did this. Go equals move to start, so we'll push the go button. Once it gets to the start place, we're actually going to fine tune down to where the first pass ended. So we'll navigate over and get it exactly where it ended. And a good way to test this would be to put the needle down or even to have your laser light line up right where your needle lands in the fabric. I'm going to pull the bobbin thread up. We're exactly where we need to be and we're going to push the go button to start. Now what we've really done is we've continued our original stippling design and just added on to it with another pass. Flip these threads here. Once that's complete, it is a 10 inch pass, we're going to come down here. We'll show you how to use the template. You have a first mark and a second mark. What that is is your first pass, you'll begin here. You'll line this up and know exactly where to start your second pass. So once this is complete, we'll show you how to do that. We're over halfway there now. You can change the velocity, the speed of your cubot while it's quilting. It's the VL in the lower right hand corner where the cursor is flashing. You can go up or down with that speed depending on what you're doing. I wouldn't speed this up too much, maybe a little bit. I'm at 120% in speed. Big sweeping curves you can put faster. You can actually go up to 250% faster with your cubot. So this pass has completed. It says quilt done, tells me the number that the design is. It asks two questions really. Would you like to quilt another? That would be if we wanted to add on to this. So definitely check out the segment for another. This time we're going to tell it overlay right where the cursor is flashing and we're going to push the go button. We need to pull up our bobbin thread as we always do, that good practice to get into every time. Slide the machine out of the way to grab that bobbin. Go equals move to start. If we left Cubot here, it would remember and go all the way back to this starting point. But it's better to put it close to that. Let Cubot navigate to the start point. Then if you were using your template, you would lay your template on the original one and you would know that your starting point was right here for your second pass. Because we're adding on to this pass, we actually can just navigate down to where this pass ended and join the two together. Now that was a long hold with Cubot and then I go and do just little pushes with Cubot to verify that I'm exactly where we need to be. Pull the bobbin thread up. It's up. So we're done with our fine tune. Press the go button to continue. And we've just joined two designs together. Now I noticed that our bobbin thread has broken. So here's a good example of how to fix the bobbin thread. I stopped Cubot. It says quilting stop continue, restart, or end. Right now Cubot's engaged so we couldn't move the machine. We want to go over to percent restart and press the go button. Once you do that Cubot is no longer engaged. We're going to cut this thread just so we can get our pickup. Check our bobbin so you could change your bobbin. I know that I have a full bobbin so I'm assuming the thread broke. I might have even clipped my thread too close. Place the bobbin back in. Make sure you hear the click that it's locked in place. Go back over here. Now, 
You probably want to clean up this um, the little thread you have here. Make sure everything's out of your way. We stopped at 8%. We're going to actually go back to 1% because we have 1% of our design completed. Push the go button and QBot now says raise needle, press go to hover. It's asking you to raise the needle because if the needle was in the fabric, when the machine moves, you might break your needle or you could rip your fabric. It's going to think and find that 1% and then stop. Once it does that, then we can go in and pull our bobbin thread up. I'm really going to go back to percent zero because I need to go back to the beginning because I thought 1% was where I needed to be. So it's an estimation and really what will end up happening, happening is you'll get better as this happens. So we'll move our threads out of the way. We're going to pull our bobbin thread up to the top. Always good to do, especially when you've just put a new bobbin in. Hovering stopped, quilt, restart, or end. We're going to quilt. We're ready to quilt. We've pulled our bobbin thread up. We're going to go bypass the fine tune because we've already fine tuned once and begin. Once you're done, you could go in and bury these threads with a handicap hand sewing needle, or you can clip them because Cubot does do a pause and lock the stitches with about three or four stitches in the same place. So since it's over there, I'll get these out of the way so you can see how pretty the design is. It's an easy way to do edge to edge designs. Again, they would normally be from the edge of the fabric going in. It could be from a border going in. So you would not see where your start and your stop was on the sides. And it just makes a beautiful design. Once it's complete, when somebody asks you if you can do stippling, you can show them. It's as easy as doing it like this with Cubot. And that's complete. Again, Cubot stopped, says quilting done. Would you like to quilt another or an overlay? We could do an overlay like we did before, and it would end up being here to start the pass, or we could do another which would add on to this design. Enjoy your quilting with Cubot.